All right, this is Brian with Go Hunt, and I'm here with Adam from Climate. Today, we're going to cover a lot of cool products Climate offers. I'm going to tell you a little bit about their history, and I'm really excited. I personally have been using Climate for years. I've had a lot of good luck with them. Very comfortable, durable, reliable. So we're excited to share some good information with you today. So Adam, go ahead and kick us awesome. off. Awesome. Thanks, Brian. I appreciate it. And I'm glad you guys invited me down to actually talk to your Go Hunt supporters and everybody that's part of your organization. Climate is a, is a company that's been focused on the outdoor sleep for 12 years now. We transitioned out of doing some really cool technology in vests and other types of products that were more geared towards skiing. As we realized that our technology transitioned excellent into the sleep space, we decided, we desired or decided to jump in and actually start to create pads that would give you the ultimate sleep while you're outdoors, which has progressed and developed into a really cool sleep system, not only with the pillows, the sleeping pads, the sleeping bags, the tents, etc. So climate has been focused on that. We're a brand that loves the outdoors. I'm an avid outdoorsman myself, love to get out, love to hunt. So we're a brand that, that loves this audience and really wants to ensure that this audience has the best outdoor sleep experience. Nice. Cool. Great. Brian, as we were discussing, what makes Climate super unique is the sleeping pad system out there. What we're really known for is the Static V line. The Static V line is designed to be ultra compact, ultra light, and easy to inflate. So a small package like this, which is a good four season sleeping pad that allows for super comfort. I personally spent 15 days in Alaska up in the Brooks Range on this particular pad and it's one of my favorite. Oh. So it's the go-to for me because it's ultra light, it's compact, and it fits great into my packing system, whether it be going out on like a super lightweight hunt or using it as a base camp item. Yeah. So what this turns into, not only is it ultra compact and ultra light, there she is. That would be the insulated Static V Light. What's interesting about the climate products is most of our pad design, if it is a warm color, that is to help the audience or help consumers understand that it's actually a four season pad. Hmm. When we dive into a cooler color like the blues and the greens, et cetera, that's a three season pad designed more for early hunts or summer uh, activities when you're out and you nice. need a good sleeping solution. I didn't know that. Yeah, pretty cool info, yeah. huh? What makes the Static V line so interesting is you can see these deep welds that are in the actual mattress itself. What the welds do and the shape of the welds is what provides the most comfort possible. You can take a mattress that has large volumes of air like this and reduce it down to only 10 to 12 breaths to inflate this mattress while you're on a mountain. I don't know if you've ever inflated a mattress where you've spent 10 time. minutes, you're lightheaded, you're already at 10,000 elevation, right? Uh -huh. So you're lightheaded and it makes, the, it makes it difficult for you to inflate that yes. pad. I did it last weekend. It was <laughs> not 10,000, but 8,500 and it took me some time and I had to lean back on the forerunner and just take a break because it was a little, little too much. A little too much for you, right? Yeah. So with that, the welds decrease the amount of volume needed to actually inflate the pad. That is one feature behind this. The second feature behind this, if you can see kind of how the welds are designed, any time that your body is placed on top of an air mattress, the first thing that the air wants to do is what? Move. Run away from your body, which we, we call those pressure points. And those are the, the areas of your body that it could potentially touch the ground. Hips on the ground, shoulders on the ground, equals pain in the morning after you've already hiked all day. You got multiple days of hunting and it makes it miserable. Miser being miserable is so easy, so let's not be miserable, right? Yeah. In that, with the Static V, the weld design will funnel air away from the body but back to the center, and you can kind of see how that looks. As your body is laying on this, the air is actually gonna be back to the center of your body, keeping everything aloft, eliminating 100% of those pressure points. Whether it be our three season pad in the Static V line, whether it be the light for our four season pad on the Static V line or any of our other Static V products, that technology is what makes this super comfortable. And that's the, the value add or the differentiator with the, static, with the uh, climate product line. Nice, very cool. 
So for a pad like this, what is the R value? What kind of temperature ranges would you want to ideally use this for? This, like I said, it's a four season pad. The R value, the way that they rank these pads, this is a 4.4, which means it's at the higher end of the R value rating that is offered up in these sleeping mats. With the insulation, unlike other products where it uses a reflective material, we actually use a cloth material that's in here that helps insulate much like your home insulation does. Mm. Traps the heat in and then keeps the cold from penetrating through. It keeps it ultra quiet. It keeps it ultra comfortable mm -hmm. in the low temperature ratings. The, this is a pad that I would feel comfortable with anybody using into the zero degree weather down to the minus 10, minus 15 weather. weather. Sure. So you so, have a good bag on top. So a good sleeping bag is an enhancement to it yep. to ensure that you stay super warm or comfortable while you're out in some of the harshest conditions. Yeah. We have customers that will reach out and be like, I was cold. Uh, it's like, well, what pad were you using? You got to make sure you have the right system with something that has high R value to, in combination with a good, good bag to keep you warm. Exactly. A lot of times there's like, yeah, I had a, like the static... Uh, V2, I think, static V2, just the green one. Yep. No insulation, yep. perfect, lightweight. Don't use that in the wintertime because it's going to be cold. Yeah. <laughs> use something like this or the static V-Lux SL or something. So with, with the static V2 being 16 ounces, you only are adding a few extra ounces to get to 22 ounces to actually have better comfort and better sleep yep. while you're in the mountains, and especially in those harsh conditions. Yeah. Yeah, you don't want to cheap out and have an uninsulated pad on a late season hunt or even mid season hunt. It gets cold at night, get something insulated. So another question that we get a lot as, as, as climate from consumers is number one, what's your warranty like? Does it come with a patch kit? Mm -hmm. Does it come with a solution that if you're out in the, wood, in the field and you actually end up with some sort of puncture? To answer that, every product comes with a patch kit. Nice. So you can field repair the product itself. On the lifetime warranty of the product, if it does become a weld issue, a valve issue, it has a lifetime warranty on it. Simply go to climate.com, go right to our customer service, and we will go ahead and take care of that. If we cannot repair a pad, we will replace that pad. That is kind of the climate model. Make sure that everybody has a super high quality product yep. that they can rely on. And I've, I've been here for almost five years at Go Hunt. And the minimal warranty issues we've had, climate has always taken care of us. Um, so they stand behind it. Yeah, absolutely. So Brian, the last thing that I really wanted to talk about with this particular pad is that in the climate line, we have multiple sizes of pads. The, uh, what you offer at Go Hunt and what we offer to the Go Hunt consumer, we offer the ultralight version of this. The ultralight version is a very similar pad to the light except it's 20 inches wide. Sure. Yeah. This is your standard 23 by, 20, uh, by 76. Sure. So in, in, in this, we have what we call our larger series that we'll get into here in just a minute. And 20 inches is not very wide, but you probably heard this hack before. You can put your, your hunting boots on the sides of your pad and just have your elbows right there on the top of your uh, toe box. Like set it up and you're, instead of your elbows being on the ground or whatever, you, you can kind of cradle your arms if you're going to go with the lighter weight, more yeah, narrow. Bag. When we do the sheep shows and we do these, these uh, events where the consumers are coming in and looking for specific products for these really hardcore hunts, yeah. the, the ultra light is a fantastic pad because ounces equal pounds, pounds equal pain, pain right? <laughs> so I hear that every time I, I talk to these consumers. And, and these hunters, and one of the thing that they ask is, does this ultralight fit inside my sleeping bag? Mm. So a lot of guys will also put it inside their sleeping bag and use it as another barrier between them and the ground, potentially. Huh. Oh. So there, with the ultralight, that's a fantastic option. With this particular pad, you still can, but it's gonna, you gotta have the right sleeping bag to sure. make sure that that happens. So you can either sleep on it or plug it in. Cool, nice. So Brian, as we were discussing about the Static V line, it comes in multiple, sh multiple sizes. Your favorite pad, yep. from what we were discussing earlier today, is the actual insulated Static V Lux SL. It's a big long name. Big long name, but it means some pretty cool stuff. As you can see, it is a larger pack down size. 
what you gain from this particular pad is the highest R value, as we discussed earlier, uh, in any insulated pad out on the market. At a 6.5, it's really, really warm. 6.5 is what we call out as the R value on this particular mattress. What makes this mattress unique is its size, length, width, and loft. To talk about that, we'll pull this guy up here. If I was taller, you could see me, but I'm not. This is the size difference. You do want to hold that there, yep. Brian? I'll throw the other one up. So for the user, you can see the difference in size of the particular pads. Length, width, and loft. Length, width, lift, and, and loft is really what gives this its, its uniqueness. This is a fantastic pad. This is your go-to hardcore ultra comfort while you're out in the woods. So. so at 78 inches, six foot six, you can go from head to toe and you could be on this mattress completely. Yeah. For an individual that has larger shoulders, much bigger than mine, this is a fantastic sleeping mat for them. At three and a half inches of loft, it gives you that extra bit of space and air between your body and the ground. Once again, this is a four season pad mm -hmm. with a super high R value. It's, as you can see, it also has the same technology of the, of the actual V-shaped design and the deep welds in it. Yep. And Brian, from your own experience, like, why is this your go-to? Uh, if I'm not like uh, packing in, like this is perfect for base camp. Uh, even when it's not that cold, I'll prefer it because it's so much wider. It's got that loft, um, it's comfortable, and it's warm. So I, I've used it in Colorado a number of times, uh, sleeping on the ground and have stayed warm. I've used it on cots before. It's kind of nice on a cot, you know, because the cot's so wide and just, I, I don't like fill it up super tight with air. I kind of let a little bit of air out because I like that cradle effect, kind of just holds you in there. Um, but yeah, it's, it's been good. My kids use it when I'm not using it, when we're doing family camp outs and it's been awesome. No leaks, nothing. Just a, a little secret, and this is something that we've developed over time. When you do inflate a mattress, my favorite thing to do is overinflate a period. Yeah. Then I lay down on it, and then with the valves, I release the air till it becomes super, like my comfort level. Sure. Yeah. Uh, my wife likes a super soft mattress. I like a much stiffer, harder mattress than yeah. she does. So this gives you that, uh, that ability to, to adjust it how you want. So yeah. one of the little tricks that's cool about this mat, that this particular pad is the valve system on it. It has a two, two valve system. This is a complete deflate. You pop this, the air immediately leaves and escapes the mattress. On this side, it's a one way. And if you're laying on there, you can just touch this yeah. and let out just enough air to get it to your perfect comfort level. The one thing I didn't talk about earlier is the biggest complaint period is can I get, or the question, it's not necessarily a complaint, can I get it back into this? The way that our mattresses and our stuff sacks are designed, the fold up, the deflate process is super, super simple. You pop the valve, you roll it up from foot to head, you flip it over, there's fold lines, you follow those fold lines, roll it up one more time with the valve open, and it'll fit right back into this mat, into the stuff sack super, super easy. Yeah. Tear down is always a tough thing, especially at the end of it a is. hunt. When you're <laughs> at the end of the hunt, so I, I have been able to get it in there, but when I'm tired at the end of the hunt, I just, I roll it up and then it's sticking out like this much because I don't care. <laughs> but it, it will fit if you roll it up nicely and fold it. Yep. Yeah. So. Perfect. Yeah, you go, you go into a hunt organized, everything's dialed. When you leave and you come back home, like everything's just thrown in the vehicle for me. I'm not, uh, not all organized when and I come And the home. first thing on your mind is a good cheeseburger? Yes, <laughs> and a McFlurry or something. <laughs> a McFlurry. Awesome. This mattress has become one of our most popular mattresses in the hunting space because of its size, of its R value, of its weight, and, you know, it has become our, our most popular for the elk hunter, the deer hunter, et cetera. Yeah. Especially in the Rocky Mountains. It's just comfortable. It's big. Yep. So, Brian, the static V-line is, is what really made climate climate. Being ultra lightweight, ultra packable, um, and very easy to use and, and put away like we discussed. Over the last two years, 
climate has now expanded into a new line of sleeping mattresses. It's our newest is called the Clima Loft. The Clima Loft is the perfect marriage between air and memory foam. What that does is it gives you the type of sleep you would get at home. It's like having your home mattress inflated in a mountain at base camp in your vehicle, back of your truck potentially, or you can pack it in on the back of a horse. Yeah. This particular pad is heavier. It's designed that way because it is bringing you the ultra comfort and ultra sleep. The mattress itself, as you can see, has the memory foam attached to the top of the actual air mattress itself. We do not give this an R value because it does not go from head to toe. And that was simply done to cut the weight on this so that it would actually still be lightweight and portable. However, as far as comfort rating and, and temperature on this, you perfectly will be, you will be perfectly warm at any degree or any temperature outside because the memory foam is such a great insulator, especially for your upper half of your body. Yeah. What makes this pad incredible is its loft. You can see how thick it is. It takes a lot more volume of air. Instead of having the V-shaped design or the welds in it, it's more of your I-beam type construction, which is really kind of designed to be more like your home mattress. Sure. The memory foam itself, has this perfect hand to it, a very soft, nice material that we have for you and your body. So it, it doesn't, it's quiet, yeah. it's not noisy, and it's super comfortable. And if you want to sleep directly on it and just like have a quilt over, you'd be fine because it's comfortable. You're not going to be like sweating on exactly. whatever material. Exactly, yep. Gives you that, that perfect level. At, at most of the events that we have done over the last few years, this is the one mattress that I have heard this from probably more wives with this she says to her husband, I will go outside with you. Yeah. So whether that's a good thing or bad thing, that just depends on, your, <laughs> yeah. on the relationship. But for me, this is, this is my wife's perfect solution. It comes in three sizes. It comes in a regular size, which is your standard 23 by 72. It comes in the XL size, which is your 30 by 70, oh, sorry, 78. So 30 by 78. And then it also comes in a double, which is 53 by 78 still designed to fit between the wheel well and your vehicle. It is a fantastic product to put in RVs, trailers, on cots, in the back of vehicles. It can go straight to the ground. It is very durable and very sturdy. Yeah, it's been good. I have one, had no issues with it. My kids normally fight over this one when it's time to choose who's, who gets what pad. Yep, absolutely. So. This, is, this has become a new pad line for us, focusing more on the family camp, the base camp, now, if you're a very ambitious individual, you could take this in on those spike hunts, yeah. but you are gonna add quite a bit of weight to your pack with this particular mattress. Yeah. So Brian, as we were discussing, Climate is an outdoor sleep product line. Everything that we do is geared towards outdoor sleep and your ability to have the best comfort while you're outdoors. To round out that, we also have our, apart from the sleeping mattresses, we have our pillows. The two pillows that we're highlighting here are the ones that are kind of my choice when it comes to ultralight packing or just super comfort. But you, you can transition between the two. You're at 3.2 ounces for the Pillow X Large, and you only go to 6.4 ounces for the actual Lux pillow. The Pillow X Large is your standard camp pillow. The features and designs behind this are easy to inflate, but it also has this little dimple in the middle of the, mat, of the actual pillow itself, which keeps your head in there. Yep. The other design that you probably have noticed is that we've angled these edges. So at the, at the top of your sleeping bag, it'll actually put into your hood and actually keep it in place so it doesn't slip around Smart. on you. It's a really good pillow. It's, it's my go-to, especially when weight is an issue. I like the feel to it. It has a very nice brushed yeah. type feel. It's not noisy, and it doesn't make your face feel gross. Yeah, like sweaty and stuff. Sweaty and gross. Yeah. So as, as far as the Spike Camp, the Ultra Light at 3.2 ounces, packs down super easy, but yet gives you a large amount of space or, vol or area to lay your head on it and, and find that comfort while you're out. Yeah. Wadding up your clothes, sure, it's cool. 
But like I, like we said earlier, being miserable is so easy. Yeah. And for 3.2 ounces, why not? Why not get it, set it up, and take it out to the woods and, yeah. and actually have a better sleep experience? And if you're like a back sleeper, like it'll just kind of locks your head in place, and you just you don't have to worry about like having a pillow lopsided or something because it does keep your your head right there. Yeah, this is one of our most popular, has been one of our most popular pillows, especially when it comes to the lightweight side of things. Um, and, and as we transitioned from ultralight to kind of getting more to, like we did with the client, like with our sleeping pad systems, we're transitioning more to traditional home type style pillows. Yeah. This has a completely different set of, of bladder in the, in the Lux pillow itself. The Lux pillow has an inflatable bladder inside it's flatter, it's longer, it's designed to replicate your, your pillow at home. What we've also added is this quilted outer layer to it. What makes this so awesome is it's, it's a really nice jersey cotton, so mm. it feels really good on your face. Yeah. The best part about it is you can actually take the bladder out and wash this outer material, especially if you get sweaty. Yep. Yeah, I've used this quite a bit. Um, as a backup pillow on the side or in my arms or in between my legs, just give me that extra comfort inside that sleeping bag when you're trying to just sprawl out and just be comfortable. Yeah. Um, again, it's definitely plush and nice. Better than just like a, like this is still plush, but like just a sleeping bag, sleeping pad material, you're just gonna sweat on it. So I like, I like these styles. Awesome, awesome, awesome. The, uh, the other added feature that we do with these particular products is that they are easy to break down like our sleeping pads. Yep. You, in, you deflate them, fold them in half, roll them up, and they fit into their stuff sack super nice. Biggest issue I've had in the past with other pillows that I've used is it's been difficult to get them back into the actual the stuff sack themselves. Yeah. So with this, that was designed in mind to make sure that that is not a pain point for us while we're out in the wood, uh, out and actually finishing a hunt. Yep. Because finishing the hunt, let's just get home and have, what would you call it, a slushy or? Uh, blizzard. A blizzard. Or, okay. Blizzard or McFlurry. All right. For me, I just dive into a big old freaking greasy burger. burger. <laughs> that sounds so good. 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 <laughs> so with the pillows themselves, these are the two that really wanted to highlight because these are perfectly suited for the type of hunting that happens within, this or, uh, within the consumer following. Nice. So Brian, what? people didn't realize or consumers didn't realize is that we offered the full solution to the outdoor sleep. And to kind of round that out in the sleep, you have your pillows and your um, sleeping mattresses, but your sleeping bag is probably your most essential item that's required for really good sleep. You got to have a bag that's going to have the right temperature rating to it, it's going to have the right fill to it, and is going to be able to wick and keep you dry and warm throughout any type of temperature. The bag that we wanted to highlight here is our, we call it our, our KSB Zero sleeping bag. So when you look that up on Go Hunt, you'll look it up under Climate KSB Zero. The features that make this bag so unique and awesome, not only is the price point perfect, because it's much less than what you would think this bag would cost, because it comes with a hybrid feature to it. It has the 650 down across the top, Yet the backing on it is a synthetic property that helps with the moisture wicking, keeps you warmer, because once you compress down all the way, it loses some of its integrity of warmth retention. So with that, you're getting the best of both worlds. We also have added material so that there's really no discharge to the, to the actual down that is in the top of these. Nice. Um, but there's been times when I've woken up and I've actually looked like I've been tar and feathered. <laughs> but with this particular product, not the case. It is not the case. Now, the other feature that really adds a lot to this is it is shaped like a mummy bag. And this common complaint that I hear out there is I do not like being confined or locked into a mummy bag, and they're difficult to sleep in for, some, for a lot of individuals. Yeah. What Climate added to the sleeping bag are these stretch baffles down here that gives you the ability to really stretch. You can kind of stretch that foot box down there sure just to show I'm how much room you can gain from this. Why is this important? What makes this important is warmth. The closer the mummy bag is to your body, the more warmth it can retain. When there's air and space in there, you get the cooled spot or those yep. cold spots throughout the sleeping bag. This gives you the ability to stretch your legs, cross them if you like to. If you sleep on your back, you can cross them. If you sleep on your side, you can spread your legs out. You can yep. get the kind of 
uh, comfort that you need that way. Yet, the bag will stay snug to your body because of those stretch baffles themselves. So apart from the construction, the materials, the stretch baffles, the one thing that we added that everybody calls as a pain point is the zipper. Yeah. Our zippers are designed to not catch. I have literally watched an outfitter sit in our booth at one of the trade shows yeah. for a half hour running the zipper back and forth because he didn't believe us that it was actually <laughs> not going to catch. By the end of that, he stood up and said, all right, I need one for every single one of my customers. Wow. And that was an experience that was enlightening to me, especially as one of the sales individuals for Climate, that this particular feature is such a pain point, especially for individuals that are get, get stuck and then they have yeah. to fight the zipper. And it, it, something so simplistic yeah. becomes so important. Yep. So with that, that is one of the big features that we added to it. The other thing is, this bag is over 80 inches long. It's huge. It has a huge shoulder box to it, and with the stretch baffles gives you that super comfort and super space available in it. Yep. One of my favorite products, the other thing to talk about is the way that we do our comfort rate, our rating of our temperatures. Yeah. In, in sleeping bags, you have like a realistic or a comfort, which is... Like a survival. Yeah, well you have the comfort level, which means that at zero degrees, am I gonna be comfortable? Yeah. Or am I just gonna be surviving? Yeah. Everything that climate does is based off of comfort. So if it's a 20 degree bag, it's a 20 degree comfort level. Yep. The survival rating is below that, which the zero degree bag, you're gonna be comfortable at zero. A few of my friends that have taken this on their wild adventures in the High Brooks Range of Alaska have spent time in these bags in some pretty harsh conditions. Mm -hmm. And the response that I had from them was not once did I get cold. Not awesome. once was I uncomfortable. So that's just another value add to me, knowing that this is a super high quality sleeping bag that can be provided to the hunt uh, user yeah. and, and round out that sleeping environment for you. Nice. The, the product itself breaks down into a stuff sack mm -hmm. and can be compressed down to literally this size. The way I like to pack my stuff up is I take the sleeping pad, my sleeping pillow, and I stuff them into the same stuff sack so it becomes one Beautiful. system, one unit. Nice. And that way you never lose it, right? Yeah, you know, go so. search. And then also, what are these, uh, these little points down here to bring it up? That is one of the designs that has worked really good for individuals that have my, my issue of height. <laughs> so since we don't have super long legs, when we fit into a bag, you have all that extra room at the bottom. You in. can actually yeah. shrink the foot box by using those and actually bring it up. So wives, kids, short people like me, can actually get into the bag and actually have all that extra material down by their feet to keep their feet warm at night. So that's what those are designed for. There's two for. different options. So if you just need a little bit or the whole way. Yep, absolutely. That's pretty cool. Yeah, so with kids, it's great. Yep. With short guys like me, it's also great. Yeah. But uh, another great feature added to the KSB line. Heck yeah. And the ratings that we have in this particular bag are a 35 degree, a 20, and a zero. Yep. All available at gohunt.com. Yep. And I do like the elastic baffles. I used the previous version of KSB, and being able to stretch around and move, move around is super nice, and you're not restricted. So I like that. Awesome. So Brian, one of our hidden gems in the climate line is what we call our Everglow light tube. It's a small inflatable light tube. Everything we do is inflatable apparently, right? Yeah. So with this particular product, it also has USB lights inside of it. Some of the biggest challenges outdoor is getting enough light inside of a tent in a, in a, in a way that it disperses it good and it can pack down to a super small uh, size. For example, when you open this up, the pack size is super tiny. Allows for space, conservancy, weight reduction, but yet gives you and can deliver to you a great way of lighting while out in the, in the field. With a simple battery pack, you can plug into the actual unit itself and gain light from the actual light tube. Doesn't take much to inflate it. Yeah. It's a super cool product and it comes in three different sizes. It comes in a regular size, it comes in a large and an extra large. Right here is the regular, so we can, online, you'll be able to see the different sizes and how they shape up. What's great about the larger sizes, there's a dimming switch to it because there is a lot more volume of, of light. Yeah. For the spike hunter that's, or spike camp hunter that's out there looking for just a light solution, 
the, lar or the regular is a fantastic way of getting light delivered to camp with whatever battery source you use to recharge your devices while you're in the field. Yeah. So this is a really cool product available on GoHunt.com and kind of a hidden gem, especially the way that, it, it, that it performs. Yeah, we used this uh, in Colorado last year in the camper shell of the truck, just laid it through the back of the camper truck, camper shell and just lit up the whole truck while we're cooking. We were able to put it on some of our gear and just have it above so we can cook and see exactly what we're doing hands-free. Um, didn't need, we had our headlamps, but like this did perfect for that stuff. You also got like a little uh, elastic thing here. So if you have like a hook in the top of your tent, you could hang it there. A lot of times I just put it in one of the pockets and it would kind of just disperse the light in the tent. But these are sweet, pick one up. They're not very much money. Great way to have extra light at, at camp. Cool solution, like I said, it's a hidden gem and a really cool design and a feature that, that Climate has come out with in the last few years. Yeah. All right, so that was the lineup of some of the Climate products we have in the gear shop. Let us know if you have any questions in the comments below. Make sure you subscribe and like the video, and thank you for watching.